El Drifto on the grass. Big fingers crossed moment. I might have found somewhere where I can have a little bit of peace in Wales. Wales is it's very busy because it's so beautiful. Simple as that. I'm off the road. I'm off the road as much as it quite possibly can be in some places. Like I'll show you the wheels. So the front wheel is like proper on the bank there. There's no more that I can do there. And in the back, I'll probably show you from the other side, but the back is here as well. Yeah, hopefully nobody moves me on from this little spot. I'm not blocking anything, even at the front there, there's still enough room for two vehicles to pass and all of that stuff. Yeah, fingers crossed. I can enjoy a weekend here. Well, a weekend of peace. I mean, yeah, look, it's not the most picturesque of places. It clearly gets used for just a uh, launch and rubbish off the edge of the golf course. Well, not off the edge of the golf course, but it's where it is, it's off the edge of the golf course. But, yeah, I'll try and stick around here. Make something out of this. Oh, look. I just noticed. I, d I was trying to figure out what type of tree this was. It's the San Miguel tree. I thought I'd see what the golf course was all about. I mean, it's a golf course. What do you expect? <laughs> there's some rough, there's some green. That's about it, isn't it? Anyway. I'm going to continue on wandering around this golf course, which obviously I've cleared to be here. Got my membership sorted and everything like that. Oh, here comes the rain. Is that a wasp's nest? Fuck, that is a wasp's nest. Oh, look at that wasp's nest. Gotta get the, uh, the anti wasp. Strings pulled, so they don't think I'm a flower. But now I look dodgy as, which is annoying when I'm doing dodgy things anyway. Oh look, there's uh, some water. Well, pretty sure it's just called water in golf. <laughs> the, the, the watering hole right there. I mean, yeah, it's a golf course. There's been some people there, uh, people chipping their way back up the hill. There must be a green up there. I mean, uh, yeah, because that's the fairway, and then the green is, is that bit. And then there'll be a hole somewhere around there. That's right. And then I think this is like the rough, and then some water. Anyway, I'm really, I'm not a golf expert, and I probably shouldn't linger on the golf course for too long. It's a bit of a sketchy climb back over though, to the van. Yeah. I'll see you later. Peace. Well, the light dies completely. This is the other side of the park up. That's the gate that I'm blocking. However, I don't think it's an issue. <laughs> then, yeah, nice and close to the road. Nice little entrance there, onto the golf course. I'm just big chilling. I'll see you later. Well, as you might be able to tell, I've moved. <laughs> I didn't stay there the entire weekend. It's later on that very same day. And the uh, the reasoning, there was some really dodgy stuff happened. Someone just rocked up, uh, started climbing through onto the golf course, which was like climbing right around the van and stuff. And I was like, well, if it's that well known of a spot, people like to get into the golf course that way and things like that, then. Uh, it's not for me, <laughs> especially not during the weekend. Uh, so yeah, I'm just here, side of the motorway. I'm going to give it a couple hours until the uh, the traffic dies down because I've just tried to turn right going that way onto this motorway, and uh, yeah, after about two minutes, I give up and just slap the slap the indicator on left and pulled over the next uh, the next spot I could. Yeah, I'm going to be hanging out here until it's a bit later on at night and then 
be heading north. El Drifto on the grass. Oh well, I made it to my destination. Can you figure out where it is? If you like me, I'm the only reason I'm here in a city. But yeah, considering I'm a person that uh, generally dislikes people and cities, it's got to be a very good reason for me coming to a city, doesn't it? Hello, I'm here in the pre dawn hours. I'm gonna go explore this city, I mean. That canal, beautiful, isn't it? Shit, well, I accidentally stumbled upon the first spot. This is Gaz. Gaz is flat. Two pints. And then just down the road there, that's the bakery where Janet worked. Yes, yeah, so that's the bakery. I'm just here on the high street. And coming up. Coming up, this is where Johnny did his my macked. Hello, kitty cat. Me out wandering the streets. Me and the cat are wandering the streets as we do. Oh. Hello, kitty cat. Oh, I see those chairs over there. That's where Johnny kissed Louise. And she tasted like Lord. Oh, well, that's the back there. Head turn on to Brindley Street. You can see the side of uh, Brindley Street Motors, which is probably easier seen from this side of the road. Yes, there it is. There it is. Have a look at this. It's Gaz's workshop. Check out the mural. How cool. Bit of run going speciality. The 1928 building. I doubt you can see it, but there's the Archer Hotel. And there we have it. It's the nightclub from the musical special of Chambers. Well, this is bed. This is a bed for the night, home for the night, slash day, because it's actually 6:39 uh, a.m. I've just finished the the Runcorn expedition. My little two pints of lager and a packet of crisps adventure and uh, now I'm ready to get some sleep. I think that was the perfect time to visit to visit any sort of town or city and uh, unfortunately with it being a Friday night slash Saturday morning uh, I wasn't able to get any video or um, pictures of one of the pubs uh, I just there was people like sitting in the doorway like really 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 drunk <laughs> in our like 5 a.m. drunk, <laughs> 5 a.m. can't get to home drunk. So yeah, I just sort of walked past that one, and other than you know, a few dodgy looking mofos and hoodies, but I can't judge dodgy looking mofos and hoodies, can I? Really, you've seen me in the past, and probably the present and the future. Hey, <laughs> now it was pretty awesome to see all those uh, those little places from two pints of lager and a packet of crisps. I uh, absolutely love that program. I sat and watched uh, an eye on three seasons of it throughout the night slash morning. But anyway, I'm going to go to bed now. I'm going to go big sleeps. Enjoy this lay-by. I'll see you later. Peace. Uh, good morning from the lay-by. It was a... Uh, honestly, it was a fine day's sleep. Slept all day. I think woke up to reposition and that was it. It was a nice bit of sleep. I'll show you the lay-by. It's definitely a bit different, isn't it? A lay-by in the day. <laughs> but uh, it's a shame about... It's a shame about people being drunk on the steps of the Mayhew. But it is what it is. It was only a season one pub anyway. No one really knows about it. Uh, and look, there was places where I could have went. Like Janet and Johnny's house. And there's uh, the castle, the old castle ruins. But... They're a bit far away from the rest of them inside of, uh, you know, sort of run corn city centre. And I'm, I'm not that bothered about walking another, you know, hour just to go see someone's house because it's someone's house at the moment. 
that's why you know I didn't really linger too long on the on the flat um, because it may well be someone's house at the moment and it's not nice to just start filming people's houses and that even though they sh should be aware that that might happen when you move into a house that's been on TV or the exterior at least but I it's currently 20 past 5 in the afternoon <laughs> I'm gonna crack on start me day now and pull the night shift and trying to get myself sorted for Monday so I can get up at a normal time and start work <laughs> but I I'll see you around peace